Welcome to the first tutorial in the ebook Joomla 2.5 Made Easy. In this video, you will have a brief introduction to Joomla and what it is made of. The home page of Joomla is www.joomla.org. Joomla is a free web-based software which allows you to create and manage the whole website. Because it's free and easy to use, Joomla is one of the world's most popular open source CMS. With Joomla, you can build many kinds of websites. Joomla gives you the tools and the power to build high technology sites, standard sites, forums, shopping carts, photo galleries, and so much more. There are two parts of the system, front end and back end. Here is the front end, what people see when they access your website. Back end is the administration area where you can control your website. The access is provided by a special login page and only for users with special permission. Now let's explore the main parts of Joomla. Basically, they are content, menus, users, and extensions. In Joomla, content consists of articles, categories, and media. Articles are the main building blocks of a Joomla website. In the front end, you can easily recognize an article as a piece of text with images presented in main context area such as this part. You can see the paragraph text and image in this article. Articles are created and managed in the back end. You can access Article Manager directly from the control panel, or you can access via menu, content, then click Article Manager. Here you can see all articles you created with menu ways to control them. You can create new articles, edit them, choose to publish or unpublish, etc. And you can easily filter to find the kinds of articles you want, or you can search the title of the article to access it. To manage your articles more conveniently, you could use categories. In the back end, categories are managed in Category Manager. Access via menu Content, then click Category Manager. Here you can create new categories, edit them, choose to publish or unpublish, etc. One important part in article is media. As you can see in this example, media is a photo slideshow, and in the bottom there are three separated images. All media can be managed in Media Manager in the back end. You can access via menu Content, then click Media Manager. Here you can control all media you used for your website. Media can be put in many folders. You can create a new media folder and upload files. We will discuss more about it in Chapter 3, Create Content for your Joomla site. We will continue with menus. You can create multiple menus and configure them to be shown at different locations. Menus help website visitors to navigate and see all parts of the website. To control menus, go to the menu Menus, then click Menu Manager. Here you can create menus and menu items to any part of the website you want. There are three default types, Main Menu, Top Menu, and Footer Menu. When Menu is ready, you will create Menu Module to present it in Front End. Next part is Users. Joomla allows your website to have multiple users registered. You control Users in Menu User and go to User Manager. All users are arranged in User Groups, which have access permission to certain parts of the website. You can make many groups to define your users. For example, users assigned to author group can post and edit articles in both back-end and front-end. The most important part of Joomla is extensions. Extensions are specially written software to be plugged to Joomla in order to extend website functionality. For example, in this website has a photo slideshow, then it must have extensions to show it. Or you can see the social channel buttons in the footer. It is also controlled by extensions. In the Joomla administration, you can see Menu, Extensions. There are five basic types of extensions, Component, Module, Plugin, Template, and Language. Component is the most complex type of extension. You will control them in Menu Components. By default, Joomla is shipped with some components. For example, you can see feed list generated by component news feeds. The content produced by a component is displayed in the main content area. 
Another kind of extension is module, what you will control in module manager under extensions menu. It performs simple tasks and displays content as small blocks hanging around the page. Examples of module can be search box, login form, footer copyright information, etc. The third kind is plugin. Plugin is designed to display content inside components and modules. An example of plugin you might see is the read more button standing below article. Plugin can perform tasks at certain points during website loading. Template is the graphical presentation of your website. By default, Joomla comes with three templates, Atomic, Bees 20, and Bees 5. There are thousands of templates available, so you can definitely choose the one for yourself. In this case, I chose JSN Epic Pro. The last kind of extension is Language. Language allows you to run your site in more than one language, so you can use your favorite language for your Joomla site's administration. All additional Joomla extensions are available at Joomla Extension Directory, extensions.joomla.org. This is the official directory of Joomla Extension, maintained by Joomla core team themselves. The extensions are divided in many categories. You can choose the kinds of extensions you want or search for it. So now you have a little insight about what it is Joomla. Next video, I will show you how to install Joomla 2.5x on your local host. Thank you for watching. You can keep in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter with username Joomla Shine. Your new category appears in Category Manager. You can create all the rest of the categories in the same.